So let's talk about AI generated WordPress directories. This is completely free. We're going to be using Gemini and Klein. Gemini 2.5 has up to date info. This is making it really, really good to use. Okay. It codes PHP better and, it, and you can use Claude for the design phase. Now I will say this does take a bit of time, right? Takes some time, takes some playing around with. Um, takes iteration prompting, right? So you're going to have to do this a few times and improve the prompt each time. And then basically, yeah, you just, it, you just have to be a little bit patient with this. Um, especially when you're first starting out, but once you've kind of set this up in a way that you can do one of these every three hours, every four hours, right from idea to design to creation, to launching in three to four hours. That means you could do two a day, right? So two a day times seven is 14, right? So you can do 28 of these a month, essentially. No, wait, more than that. My math is bad, whatever. You can do a lot, right? I'm gonna show you one right here. I made this today. This is my first ever iteration. Um, I've improved the prompt since. If you want to get my up-to-date prompts and my up-to-date SOPs, like I'm literally updating this as I go, then definitely sign up to the school or you can wait for YouTube videos where I'll also be updating uh, you, of course. But yeah, I mean, if you want it as soon as possible and fresh as possible, then definitely check out the school. And if you don't really understand what I'm talking about when I talk about Klein and um, Gemini 2.5 and Codes PHP, definitely check out the course. I lay out everything in really, really fine detail there. Now, this is the example that I've got. Let's just have a little look at this website. This is live. So let's just go to the sitemap. So sitemap.xml. The URL is irishbreweriesdirectory.com. Okay, Rank Math has reset. So this is a little bit of an issue that I'm just playing around with right now. Let me just quickly fix this. Um, basically, it just keeps resetting itself. But if I just go to the settings on the sitemap here, you'll see that I can include these in the sitemap, they are being included. Okay, no, they're not being included. Perfect, right. So I'm just, uh, I'm just putting these all on now. These are all my custom post types. I do have a fix for this guys that I'll talk about in this video where you don't have to keep resetting. I'll talk about how I did all of this in just a second. I'm just gonna, I just want to show you guys what this looks like, first of all. So we've got beer types as well, including HTML sitemap. Fine. Now, if I go back to the sitemap, You'll see there are all of these different pages. Let's go to counties, for example. These are all the counties of Ireland. So if I just open this one, for example, we have breweries in County Clare. Um, some of them don't have coordinates, which is why you see blank uh, maps. I'm working on this at the moment, but basically, yeah, if they don't have a coordinate, it just focuses on the one. But yeah, it has this entire map. Maybe it would be better if I just go to the brewery page, right? So just the top here, we go to all breweries. And for example, this is why I like this so much because this I didn't this didn't take a lot of setting up whatsoever. If you want to see the same thing with Next.js, this would take ages and loads of playing around and loads of errors and everything. If I change this to County Leash and then press filter breweries, you'll see that there's now an individual page for this county in Ireland. So if I put one that maybe has more than one a brewery we can see it kind of hovers around the county county down in northern ireland i understand it's northern ireland just it's i'm just doing the the island of ireland because it's famous for its breweries and then if i change this to i don't know brewery distillery filter breweries you'll see this focuses on this brewery and distillery and distillery because there's only one uh let's do nano brewery there's only one again but yeah, each one has its own little uh, logo and everything. You can click here. You can then go to the actual brewing page. Again, look at this detail compared to what I was making on Next.js. This is absolutely great, right? This is so nice. So look, we even have like these uh, social icons that goes to the company's socials. We have their email. Couldn't find their phone this time. We could click local beer. We could have a look here. So look, these are local beer Irish brewery directory. So you can see just how interesting this gets, right? Sustainable Irish breweries, you know, all these different things. 
um, that people might be searching for. So let's say you want to go to a brewery with a bar inside it, right? Bang, there you go. There's a brewery with a bar inside it in Ireland. There's all the counties, all the different features, all the different types. We've got an about us page, contact page. This all works because it's WordPress, right? This just goes to WordPress forms. It's just a plugin that's free. And then here we have the uh, privacy policy terms and conditions, cookies and CCPA also generated by a plugin. So let's talk about how I did this, right? First of all, if you want to know like the overall building process, watch the last video that I uploaded on this channel. So we'll just go to the channel and I'll just show you which one I mean. It's the slightly longer video. You really do need to watch this video to understand what the hell I'm talking about. But basically I do this exact process where I build one of these websites in this video. I build an earlier version of this website. But I want to talk about how I then got this live, right? Because that's probably what people want to know about next. So the way to get this live is to use, like, I've got the plugin here, not the plugin, the theme. Uh, it's this one. So this is the entire theme right here, right? And I think next time I do this, I'm going to try and build it into one of the base themes, like 2025. That already has a load of different things in it. I'm just going to try that next time. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to local WordPress, right? WordPress admin. And open the theme inside your local, on, on your local computer, right? And then you go to plugins, add new plugin. Just write migrate. And then this one here, all in one migration and backup, right? So just activate that and then you'll get this here. Just export. And then export site two, file, and then just allow that to export. Once it's finished exporting, you need to have like hosting and, and whatever, right? So I just used Hostinger just because they're the only ones that I've ever used, to be honest with you. And I just find their process to be kind of simple and easy. They actually offered me a quite large sponsorship uh, that I said I would take and then never made the video. They're getting kind of free sponsorship for this. This isn't sponsored. Um, I don't like the way they do the like 48 month thing. I just get one month. I just happen to have a domain lying around as well for free. So I just activate that domain premium web hosting uh, for WordPress. Oh, they actually, I, they gave me one actually for free, business web hosting. I got this for free. It was just at the bottom here. So maybe try and get this if you if you do have it, just go on hosting a website list and see if this comes up. Um, and they gave me free hosting, right? So I just added um, WordPress hosting to that domain that I just bought from them. Um, and I happen to have a free domain as well, actually, interestingly enough. And then once you've got that domain, you, you can log in to WordPress admin, right, uh, on the domain, because that's how Hostinger works. So you can normally just press a button, like here, admin panel. You click this button, then it takes you to your new domain that you just bought, slash WordPress admin, right? You go to plugins, add new, do exactly the same thing. You just write migrate. I'm going to write migration this time and then in, install it here, and then go to the tool here, import, and then import from, and then file, right? And then you just, um, you drag the file from your download folder to here. And then one thing you need to do is uh, your permalinks, right? So make sure you go to settings, permalinks, and you have it to the correct permalink, um, you know, whatever it is. I don't know what it is for your setup that you've just made, uh, maybe ask the client conversation that you're having how to set all this up specifically for the setup that it's using, right? So just be careful with all this stuff. And then I literally just got WordPress legal pages and compliance. I don't even know if this is activated. WordPress forms for uh, a contact us page, which I just created a page um, and it just automatically embedded on that page. These are all things that if you want to advertise with ads, you do need all of these things. Another thing I'd probably recommend is setting up emails, right? I haven't done this yet, but I would almost definitely do this, right? So let's just see if I have a free email. I do. Okay, nice. Confirm. Beautiful. <laughs> hosting is, I, I have a love-hate relationship with hosting it. They make things very, very easy, but they also um, 
charge me uh, quite a lot, which I don't like. Like when I'm not expecting it, I mean. So I really don't like getting charged randomly. Uh, it's not random. I know that I've agreed to their terms and conditions and blah, blah, blah. But um, I don't know what I'm doing here. So where would you like to use your let's use browser? Okay, complete. So the reason I'm doing all this is because I do want to get um, monetized. And everything you can do to make your site legitimate um, is worth doing, right? So I'll show you what you can also do. Another thing that you can also do is like... Originally, what I was doing was I was making changes on here on Klein saying like, oh, please uh, make this link work or whatever. But then I was like, fuck that. There must be a, a better way to do this. I, I'm not a complete vibe coder. I do understand some things. So I went to theme file editor and looked for footer. Right. And I've got a lot of experience with Shopify. So this stuff just makes sense to me as well. And I just added all of these links here, right? So now if you go to Irish Breweries Directory and scroll down to the footer, you'll see all of these links do actually work. They all lead to things like I, I think I showed at the start of the video, but these are all legit pages that you need to get monetized uh, through something like Azoic, right? So that's why I'm going through all the trouble of doing all of this stuff. So let's say we wanted to add my email here, right? So how would we do that? We would add it here, most likely to the footer somewhere. Um, so let's just see what the footer looks like. Now we can just put it on the contact us page, I guess. So let's just do that. So we'll go to pages here, all pages, contact us. Or send an email to, there we go. And we will get back to you. ASAP. I hate when people say that. So I'm just going to go to the settings here of um, WordPress legal pages as well and just make sure all of this is filled in. Okay, so I would feel like this would have a much better chance of getting monetized on Azoic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this generates any traffic. I'm probably going to create way more of these as well because it's fun and it's like a collab thing as well. Like I'm just really, really enjoying it. Just so you know, everything here is based on CSVs. So let me just show you. So all I'm doing is I'm creating CSVs from just business names using Gemini, right? Completely for free. I'm not paying for any. Oh, this is using Sonnet, actually. I was using Gemini. And it's just filling in the CSV for me. So I just give it this name, the, the brewery name, which I got from a list. Brewery list i got it from this list here on wikipedia bang and then it's just doing perplexity uh, sorry brave searches and then um using fetch and things like that just to find various things about each business online that you would struggle to find using any other free method anyway and even paid method honestly a lot of the stuff that it's finding is better than even paid methods and then if at any time I want, I can just update the breweries, right? Without changing any of the code or anything, I just go to breweries, import CSV, choose file, and then I just, or I just drag and drop the file, right? So we can right click here, reveal in file explorer. We can just drag this over here like that. Bang, check this box, import. And then if there are any new breweries, we'll see them here. So these two didn't work, that's fine. Um, process 27 added zero, because I, I just did an update before. And then you can see it's added this whole new thing here for breweries. So we go to all breweries here. We have all the breweries, and then I can go to counties, right? You can see all the counties here. These are all separate pages, remember, all things that we could rank for. We can easily add new ones if we wanted. You can see these pages, right? I go here. You can see exactly where this brewery is, which is a macro brewery, craft brewery, whatever that means. And then we even have beer types, right? So like if you're searching for, I don't know, a dark, mild Irish stout, you can find a brewery in Ireland that will serve you a dark, mild Irish stout. This is what 
you need to be making in terms of directions. You need to be actually offering some kind of value. That's exactly what I am trying to show you guys. So I'll keep you guys updated on this, how it's going, etc. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this does. Honestly, I'm excited to see how this does. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And yeah, check out all the materials in the description of the video. I'll see you in the next one. And if you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. Almost forgot that. Peace out.